Whoops, I'm on another line right now. Sorry, I can't talk. Sorry, Luger. Middle of a crisis right now. No! Luger, please? You have to help me. I'm in Drellin. Come to Drellin! No! Was that Nova? It sounded like she was in trouble. <sighs> I'm on another line right now. Sorry, I can't talk. Sorry, Luger. Middle of a crisis right now. No! Next stop is Jalen, right? Thank goodness you're here. Honestly, I'm having a bad day. I had to freeze the accounts of one of my clients, and he did not appreciate that one bit, let me tell ya. He gave me this death glare. It really freaked me out. I mean, if you insist. I knew I could count on you. Is there something amiss? I think maybe I've been here with my daddy before. Perhaps your house is somewhere nearby? I don't know. Do you remember anything memorable near your house? Any landmarks? Maybe some super rare flowers? That kind of thing? Well, right in front of my house, there's this gigantic pond. Daddy would catch fish from it and cook them up for supper. I like grilled salmon the best. That's my favorite. Sounds like good eating to me. But a pond wouldn't have salmon. Not naturally. Are you sure it's not a lake? A lake, that's what it was. I'm trying to remember, are there any lakes like that left in Olympias? Lake Ipsilla used to be nearby, but the last of its water dried up decades ago. Someone's got a bad memory. Oh. There's no reason to give her grief about it. Maybe it's nothing, but I just remembered they found some really old ruins at the bottom of that lake. They were built by some mysterious civilization that didn't use Spyrex. It was the find of the century. That's intriguing. What else do you know about these ruins? Zilch. I guess they collapsed before the archaeologists could do their thing. That's unfortunate. DODA here. We have detected a fractured dimension with a high likelihood of a way marker. Please investigate. I know that voice. Hey, Vera, how's it hanging? Nova, why are you there? Just asking Luger and company for a favor. So, uh, what's a fractured dimension? It's division business, never you mind. Aw, how come you're always such a spoil sport? And you wonder why those blind dates never call you back. What are you talking about? My signal's breaking up, gotta go. Let someone on the B team handle Nova's problem. Like Elise. I'm on the B team? B better stand for best. Come on, this fractured dimension stuff can't be that important. Why don't you help her out, Jude? She seems like she's in way over her head with this. Yeah, the B team can handle the fractured dimension just fine. If B is for best, I'm it. Fine. Her customer does sound like a pretty tough customer. Any thug who threatens a young woman deserves a taste of his own scare tactics, at the absolute least. Revenge served cold and all that jazz? Count me in. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Is everyone in the Prime Dimension this stupid? Mila, do you mind helping out Luger for us? It's not like I have anything better to do. I guess I'll never find my way home. Don't worry, Luger will find it. I didn't know the house where I was born either but Jude and the others went and found it for me. You didn't know where your own house was? You're just like a little kid. How can you say that when you can't even find your own? Well, it's not my fault I can't find it. I had to run away on a boat. There was a lot going on. Well, it's not Elise's fault either. I was an orphan. I grew up in government facilities. An orphan? Really? 
Iris doesn't even have a daddy. But don't get sad for her. I have lots of friends now, so I never get lonely. That's good, but if you ever do get lonely, just tell me, okay? I'll let you borrow Luger for a while. Uh, what? I won't get jealous or anything. It's totally okay. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Elle. That's really big of you. Yeah, I try. Wow. Hard to imagine this was all a lake once. More blighted nature, courtesy of Spyrex. That's why Jude's trying to create Spyrites in the first place, to keep things like this from happening again. That'll be the day. You act like this doesn't affect you. How do you think Mila felt when she... How should I know, huh? I'm not your Mila. Jude will succeed and save us. Mila sacrificed herself to give us this extra time. There's no way Jude will let us down. <sighs> Something's glowing! Maybe it's those ruins Nova was talking about. If they haven't collapsed in this dimension, there's a good chance we'll find the divergence catalyst in them. Let's go! Ah! Afraid of thunder, huh? What? Me afraid of a little thunder? Come on! I thought I saw something on the ground right at that moment. <laughs> there's no reason to be ashamed. No, you don't get it. When I... when I hear thunder, I... I think of what happened to Daddy. Please, just make it stop! Oh! Huh? Man, this thunder's pretty intense, huh? Let's focus on getting to the ruins. Mila Maxwell, the other one, sure has some good friends. I suppose I do. Who knows where she is, but if I got the chance, I would. <laughs> Get a load of this place. Nova wasn't kidding. No sign of spirit arts or Spyrex here. I think it's still alive. Careful. The security systems might still be online. It's better than standing out in the thunderstorm and wetting ourselves. Mm -hmm. Just so we're clear, I'm not some fraidy cat, you know. And don't you forget it, okay? She's pushing herself too hard. If she needs to cry, she should just let herself. She's just a scared little eight-year-old who's been away from her father far too long. I was only six when I destroyed the Exodus organization. You're a special case. When Elise was eight, crying was all she ever did. Poor Tipo was always sopping wet with tears. Where's Rolo? I don't see him! Yeah, I don't see him either. Was Rolo with us when we entered the rift? I honestly can't remember. Well, that was helpful. Oh, come on, Luger. You need to be a more attentive kitty daddy. Wow. Rolo! Huh? Rolo? Why are you being a butthead? It seems we are meeting again. Scion of Kresnik. Who said that? You may refer to me as Odin. I am the system that oversees Thor, the Ark of Time. Ark of Time? It's one of the Waymarkers. Yes, indeed I am. You're a Waymarker that knows you're a Waymarker? I know far more than that. I know about you as well. All your weaknesses, to be exact. I warn you, leave while you can. Unless you wish to face your demise. Are we heading further in? This Odin fella sounds like he means business. There's only one way to find out. Let's go say hello. That just now? That's the Mila I know. You're right. How did that 
that boy sky know that this is a fractured dimension? If it wasn't you, then some other interloper probably told him. You mean... the fractured dimensions might have their own set of agents? That actually makes sense. We've already encountered another Mila, so why couldn't there be another Luger too? But that Mila isn't the same Mila as our Mila! Excuse me? Although, she's just as scary. But if agents from fractured dimensions were destroying each other's worlds, wouldn't the fracture problem take care of itself? Kronos could be making more fractures than the agents can destroy. How? How would I know? It really would. It would be a continuous cycle of destruction with no purpose. And just who's deciding which destruction has a purpose? Are you that convinced of the supremacy of your dimension? Well, I... I don't... Stop pretending you're heroes and admit your motives are selfish. You owe that much to the people you're eliminating in order to save yourselves. Uh. I'm sorry, Luger. I shouldn't have put it like that. But if the fractured dimensions are all different possible alternatives to this one, I wonder if any of them contain a world where we don't have to do this. A dead end. As I feared, you refused to heed my warnings. Are you Odin? What is this place? It is all the remains of a civilization that collapsed 95,212 years ago, by your reckoning. The sole survivors converted their corporal forms into life-form data and sealed themselves away. It was their hope that someone in the far future would find and resurrect them. And this is where they've sealed themselves. It truly is an arc of time in every sense. The life-form data of 427,086 people, along with the collected works of their civilization, are stored here. Almost half a million? Indeed. Lives that have been long lost in other dimensions. This is their last hope. Would you be kind enough to hear the messages they prepared for their saviors in the future? from the distant future. I'm looking forward to the day we can meet for real, and the day we can start living together in harmony. These are their messages. What am I supposed to take away from this? To you who have discovered this data, please, hear our plea. I beg of you, you must find a way to give our children back their future. Being turned into data sounds real scary, but Mommy and Daddy will be with me too, so I'll be brave. They said if I can be strong now, then I'll get to play outside again one day. These hold our poetry, our music, our art, everything we've managed to preserve of our culture. They're the proof that we lived and loved and suffered. Please take good care of them. The arrogance of humanity has led us to our own destruction. It is this truth that I want to pass on to you, people of the future, so that you can avoid repeating our mistakes.